I saw an appeal on the ITV, or one of the news programmes last year, about the Amersham ponies wanting, needing homes. And it was such an awful case, it just really obviously touched a chord with lots of people. And we've got four miniature Shetlands who are fantastic, and there were some, mini some Shetlands, miniature Shetlands that needed rehoming, so that got our interest up. And we contacted the RSPCA and went to see some locally, um, and then rather fell for this lovely pony here, Connor, and this lovely one here, Oliver. So we actually only wanted one miniature Shetland, but came away with, with two, and that's how we kind of got involved in it. The bond you get with it, any horse that when it lives with you is, is is massive. I don't quite understand how people could, but I guess, you know, everyone's struggling, aren't they, at the moment, and they are an expense, and you do need a bit of land, and they need to eat grass and mm. stuff, and if people are struggling, then... Um, you know, they need to think about those things before they take on a mm. horse, I think. I think people do underestimate the commitment it takes, actually, and especially with the Shetlands, and you think you can just get one and put them in the garden. Yeah. But they need as much care as, as other horses and ponies. They still need their feet trimmed, and they still need to be kept an eye on, and in fact, if not, more care, because you need to check they're not eating too much, getting too fat. Yeah. Or so it's, um, it's probably comes, comes into it in our current climate, I should think. It's a really good feeling to know that you've helped a pony who would have ended up God knows where and also it just it's a very satisfying thing to do yeah. as well <laughs> don't you kick me <laughs> if you're thinking of adopting a horse or getting a companion horse or helping out a little horse who needs some help uh, a great place to start would be the RSPCA, check out their website www.rspca.org.uk thank you